last time in the Marvel Universe. The Fantastic Four fought the Submariner, who tried to vow revenge on humanity after discovering his home was destroyed. They beat him, and yeah, that's it. And we kept getting this weird warning about the Hulk was coming. And it looks like, well, he did come. The Incredible Hulk number one. The strangest man of all time. Fantasy as you like it. Is he man or monster, or is he both? Now, as you probably know something about the Hulk, is that he's not green. Yeah, he's, he's gray here, but if you notice in this book, his colors are going to, gray is going to appear different in every panel. So, by next issue, he'll be green. But gray Hulk will come back in the future. Well, that's way farther down the line. But yeah, there's a little tidbit. The Hulk is based off the Frankenstein's monster and Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde, in case you're wondering. And let's get into the comic. Ooh, look at this ad! The Hulk. This story was written by Stanley and illustrated by Doug Kirby. Half man, half monster. The Mighty Hulk thunders out of the light night, taking place amongst the most amazing characters of all time. Part 1. The Coming of the Hulk. This one is the worst quality for some reason. But I okay, hope you don't mind. Alone in the desert stands the most awesome weapon ever created by man, the incredible G-Bomb. Miles away behind solid concrete and bunkers, the neuroscientist attacks force weights with a game of bombs, first awesome test firing. And none is more tense, more worried than Dr. Bruce Bear, the man whose genius created the G-Bomb. Few seconds of more will know whether we have succeeded or not. I was against from the start, Banner, and I still am. It is too dangerous. I still say you should have confided in us, your fellow scientists. You should have told us the secret of the gamma ray. Quiet, Eeyore. Here comes General Ross. This guy seems eager. Oh, there's the, there's your Frankenstein reference there already. Stanley's big friend Frankenstein's monster, and guess who it is? I am too. So yeah. Why the delay, Banner? What are you waiting for? My men have been stationed here for weeks, wasting time because of your inferior delays. Are you going to test the blame bomb or not? Of course, General, it's just that I must be sure every precaution has been taken. You are tampering with powerful forces. Powerful forces? Bah. The bomb's a bomb. Full of you if you're your milk sup. you got no guts. You should have put me in charge of this test. By thunder, it would have been done by now. Oh, Daddy, don't be so unfair. Dr. Bruce Banner is one of our most famous scientists. I'm sure he knows what he's doing. You keep out of this, Betty. This is man talk. Don't mind Dad, Dr. Banner. Ever since he was nicknamed Thunderbolt Ross, he tried to live up to it. Brump. Thank you, Miss Ross. Now, if you excuse me, it's time for the final countdown. Good luck, Dr. Banner. It's a ding-dong well about time. Listen, Baron, this is your last chance to tell me the secret of your harness, the gamma rays. It is... Right for you to be the only one who knows. Sorry, Igor. The formulas are locked in my room, and they'll stay there. You fool. Nobody has checked your work. If you made an error, you might blow up half the continent. I oughta... I don't make errors, Igor. Dr. Banner, the countdown has begun. Talk to you later, Igor. You know how I test many things. With your fist. Two seconds later, you will finally learn what happens when the powerful gamma rays are released. Wait, what's that? Good lord, the boy a teenager, he's driving the test area. Eager to delay the countdown until I get into that to that boy. Hurry, man, every second counts. Sure. What a stroke of luck. All I have, have to do is keep my finger off the whole button and I'll be the end will be the end of Bruce Banner. You get out of there! You're in a forbidden test area. Cool it, man. The kid bet me I wouldn't have nerve if I sneak past the guards. Hey, what are you trying to do? Make them think I'm a chicken? Come on, you fool. We got to reach the protected trench before the bomb goes off. Bomb? Meanwhile, the bunker, not having been told to delay the firing, a finger touches a fail button. Three, two, one, zero. That, those little 3D words were kind of weird there. Whatever, so, I guess someone was just an asshole. Like, I'm just going to push this fire button. And that's a pop screen. There, you're safe. Now, ugh! Although many miles from the bomb to zero, Dr. Bruce Banner bathed in the full force of the mysterious gamma rays. The world seems to stand still, trembling on the brink of a bandy as his ear splitting scream fills the air. And he still screams hours later when, I'm coming out of it now! Thank heaven. Banner, it's a miracle that you're still alive. You deserve the full impact of the gamma rays. How did I get here? 
My name is Rick Jones. I brought you. You see, my dumb wife, I figured out what the least I could do for you. You know, the funny thing, I'm an orphan and no one ever did anything for me before except you, a stranger. It's getting dark out. How long are they going to keep us here, Doc? I don't know. I don't know. They must be waiting for me to die. It's impossible to take so much gamoration and not have something happen. I'm beginning to feel strange. My head is throbbing. This must be the end. The whole world's going to going bad, even the kooky radio. It won't play at all. It gives out, out with, 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 yeah, it gives out with static. Click, click. That's no radio. It's a Geiger counter. And that's radiation. Listen to it. It's going wild. Click, 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 click. It's getting louder and louder. Faster and faster. What's happening? What is happening? Hey, look at you. you. You changed. Get out of my way, insect. I can see his gray, his darker here and lighter here, because gray did not print very well back in the day. Where am I? Why am I locked in here? I want to get out. Holy cow, he's breaking down the wall against this cardboard. Ow! Hey, Sarge, look ahead. What's that? Man, more little men. I don't know, but if he isn't doesn't stop, we'll hit him. And so the list of men picked themselves up from the wreckage, the muddy thing. That was once the fan of turns in. Well, I have to go. I have to get away. To hide. Like I wouldn't be him if the man monster storms off into the waiting night and... Wait for me! One lone figure follows him as a legend is born. You see my life. You need me now. Wait, I'm going with you. Ooh, nice hat. Part 2. The Hulk strikes! Like a silent, dreadnought, hulking thing that was once Bruce Banner... Crouches in the shadows as the pursuing troops rush by. Wasn't let them find me. Fan out, man. We gotta find that. That. The Hulk! And thus a name is given to Bruce Banner's other self. A name which is destined to be mortal. Look sharp there. Don't let the Hulk get his hands on you. Well, back at the base hospital. It's impossible. Nothing human could smash a two foot thick concrete wall. But he did. The Hulk did it. Bruce Banner and that boy, what became of them? Couldn't the Hawk have? But who could have guessed the incredible truth? Who could suspect that Bruce Banner is the Hawk? Where is he headed for? Have to keep moving. Have to reach his home. Formula inside home. Must get formula. Driven by sheer instinct, the part of the Hawk, which is still Bruce Banner, heads for a small cottage, smashing all obstacles. Ah. Now he's formed, I guess. Moving with unbelievable stealth from one so ponderous, he storms closer and closer to his destination. Until at last, a dim memory from his brain of Bruce Banner tells him, The curd cabin, that is where I must go. But within the cabin, the man called Igor is so intent upon his secret task that he doesn't hear the muffled footsteps drawing near and near. A gamma ray formula must be here somewhere. Then, an intruder! Well, you will not live to report Igor to the security police. What are you? I put a thirty-eight slug in your shoulder and still you advance. You do not even feel the shot. No, stay back. Don't. Don't. You will shoot me no more. So, this is what you humans fear. And now. No, it's impossible. You, you are human. Human? Why should I want to be human? Stop it. Don't kill. You kill him. Put him down. Help! Down? I will put him down. So, wham. Gosh, look, there's something taped to the bottom of the glass. Figure it must be what he was searching for. Toss your report and give him a bomb. It looks important. You better get it to the armory. I'll bet, I'll bet you wrote it while you're Bruce Banner. Bruce Banner? Why do those words ding in my head? What does that mean to me? That face. I know that face. But it is weak and soft. I hate it. You take it away. You can't hate it. Don't you understand? This guy in the picture before you, you changed, he was you. I seem to remember now. He was the bomb. The gamma rays that turned me into this darkness, though. It would have happened to me if you hadn't saved me. That's why I'm staying with you. Fool. I'm glad it happened to me. I'd rather be me than that cutie weakling in the picture. I don't want you with me. I don't need you. I don't need anybody. My strength, my power of the world are mine. As for you, you are the only one who knows who I really am. What, what do you mean? But 
very instant, first rays of dawn appear and with them. My head! My brain's on fire! What is happening to me? I'm changing! Changing! It feels as though a veil is lifted and I can think again. It's over. The nightmare's over. Gosh, you're Dr. Bruce Banner again. Alas, the nightmare of Bruce Banner is not over yet. It may never be over again. Open up in there. This is the police. Now, you probably didn't notice that the Hulk here changes from Bruce Banner to Hulk from day to night, which is something that, as you probably know down the line, is not something that will stick. But here's how it is in this issue. Ooh, that's a cool looking projector. Part 3, The Search for the Hawk. Where is he? Where's the Hawk? He's gotta be in here somewhere. Dr. Banner! The Hawk? He must be the doc. Empty. We trailed him here. We know he came in here. Look, Captain, it's Igor, the spy we've been searching for. The Hawk! The Hawk! Give him to a doctor. He must have been in league with the Hawk. What happened to you, Dr. Banner? Why did you leave the hospital now? Did you get that shoulder? Why did you get that shoulder wound? How do we how do we know you're not mixed up with this? Are you kidding? Who do you think he is? The Hawk? Captain, we were in the Jeep which hit the Hawk. We got a good look at him. He was nothing like Dr. Banner. He was huge, powerful. In fact, I wouldn't be surprised if it was a giant gorilla from that escaped from some zoo. No, he was more like a big bear, dressed in tatters. Probably escaped from a circus somewhere. Personally, I think these jokers were seeing things. Maybe there's a little Cub Scout on patrol. It's fortunate that Igor didn't get your scan up on formula. I'll, I'll take it for your safekeeping. The glare to the treatment had left the left the team their advance to the Hawk. Dr. Ben, I recognize I'm starting to apologize for my father's remarks to you. You never expect to find find me in the middle of a search for a monster. Neither did I. Neither sub did I. You're ill, you need medical care. But he doesn't leave, he just needs a little peace and quiet, that's all. Miss Ross, forgive me. I've been under a terrible strain. Rick, will you show you I will show you to the door. Sure, Doc. You just take it easy. Very well, I'll go. But if you need me, Miss Ross, Betty, I'll call you later after I've had a chance to pull myself together. Oh, it's Betty now. Bah. How revolting. Please do, Bruce. I feel you're in some great trouble, and I want to help. Wait, I thought they'd never leave. Now we can talk. What did it feel like, Doc, being a hawk? I'll bet it was a gas. Say, what's wrong? It's all over now, isn't it? Over. No, Rick. It isn't over. Just the beginning. Remember, I became the hawk when night fell and returned to my normal self a day. Break. But day doesn't last forever. It's gonna be night again. And when the sun sets, how do I know that it won't change once more? How do I know I won't keep changing? Until the brutal beast will mock me for being that creature wolf, which, which fears nothing, despises reasons and worship power. Soon the sun will set again. Here I sit helplessly fearing I may again become the Hulk. Ooh, I learned radio to help in electronics. Yeah. The Hulk. Enter the Gargoyle. Part 4. Let us leave Bruce Bear and his young friend Rick for a moment and turn our attention to the red spy known as Igor. As he grows darker in his cell. The Americans fools think I am defeated, but not yet. No, they shall soon learn that even in cells, eager can be dangerous. For they do not suspect that pasting onto my thumbnail is a. S hey, Lily, he's got a thumbnail. <laughs> is a sub miniature trans transistor shortwave sen sending set. A set which I shall set now set a secret message behind the Iron Curtain. And thousands of miles away, Comrade, I am receiving a cold message from Igor. Quick, let me have it. I'm not going to do Russian accent anymore. Hmm, this is high priority. I must give it to the gargoyle. But I dare not face the terrifying one. Ah, uh, I have the answer. Wait, why don't you, do you give me the message? Why do you not bring it to the gargoyle? Well, you're my superior, Comrade. It is for you to bring it. I cannot bear the face of gargoyle. There is but one thing to do. Comrade, do not ask me to do, to do this. I beg you. Do it. It is an order. The gargoyle, the most feared man in all of Asia. Who is outside my door? Speak or face a gargoyle's wrath. Uh, I have a message for you, Comrade Gargoyle. That is all. The cowardly weakling dare not face me. But this is how I want it. Let them fear me. Someday all the world will come with for the gargoyle. 
Halloween is pretty Halloween. The Ratchet is is unbelievable. An American there exists a creature in in, in America. Sorry, it's not American. In America there exists a creature called the Hawk, whose power almost matches mine. I must find this Hawk. I must either slay him or bring him back as my prisoner, as a symbol of my might. Actually, this is the Gargoyle. Prepare a rocket firing sub for immediate departure. That is all. Brief hours later, the very latest model red sub cuts through the murky depths of the sea until reaching a prearranged area. It unleashes an experimental man carrying rocket. With that, our radar has tracked an unidentified missile heading this way. Unleash our hunter missiles. Within seconds, America's mighty defensive structure unleashes its fantastic arsenal and the missiles are destroyed, but I have landed at my destination safely. And now it's time for the gargoyle to meet the hawk. And so face twist thread of our tail tighter and tighter until... Where are you going, Doc? It'll be evening soon. Should we be at home waiting to see? No, our farm has to become that inhuman creature again. We'll let it happen out in the open this time. Hard to believe, Doc. You're the most famous missile expert in the world. With brainy and culture and all that jazz, and yet... Yet due to the forces unleashed by the Gamma Ray, I turned into a marauding savage brute at nightfall. That's why, that's why I gotta stay with you, Doc. Without me around, you might do something awful. You might even kill someone, Doc. Doc, your hands! Shaden, you're becoming the Hulk again. Just as I feared, I cannot stop it. It will happen every evening. Doc, keep your hands on the wheel. Look out! Wheel, who cares about wheels? Who cares about anything? Look, he's green! <laughs> That's pretty funny. It's, look how this picture is supposed to be like an off-color thing. It looks more normal because you're used to talking green. Oh, anyway, slowly pondering from out of the wet wreckage, I had emerged with my not the sense of clean-cut head of Dr. Bruce Banner. No, this is the, the brutish, menacing head of the Hawk. What am I doing here? I've got to go. To where? Oh, my head. We're lucky to be alive. I know this countryside. Near General Ross's house. Betty lives there. Betty? No way, you can't see Betty. Not like this. Stop. My quest has ended. It is he, the one I seek, the Hawk. Meanwhile, just a short distance away, Betty Ross has lost in her own disturbed musings. I can't get Bruce Banner out of my mind. Somehow, I think he needs me. What is it, girl? You seem troubled all day. Oh, Dad, if only things were as simple as your, your day, when a cavalry charge or a squad of infantry men could solve anything. Today, with the strange, almost supernatural forces all around us, I feel as though we're in the break of some fantastic, unimaginable adventure. Well, you just need a little fresh air. That's right. Perhaps I walk the first night air will clear my head. Drive the troubled face of Bruce Banner from my thought. Perhaps I can tell myself it was all a dream. There is no hawk. But there is a hawk. You don't ever you forget it. Oh, no. Page it all. Just like all weak, helpless creatures. Hulk, let's get out of here. We gotta leave here. If you're found this time, they'll- Shut up, nobody tells the Hulk. You are wrong, monster. Turn around. Turn and face the gargoyle. Hmm. Maybe nice ads. We got a nice ad here. New, the two greatest new fantasy magazines in the world. Amazing adult fantasy, the magazine that respects your intelligence. The tales are strange, thrilling, always different, with amazing shock endings. I wonder if Amazing Fantasy will come back in any way, or Amazing Adult Fantasy. The Fantastic Four! America's greatest fantasy characters. Human Torx, The Thing, Mr. Fantastic, and Invisible Girl. Look at these great ads. Part 5, The Hulk Triumphant. Holy Hannah! Who's that? Hey, look out, Hulk, he's got a gun! Ah, uh, no genie fish won't kill the Hulk. The guard dog did not journey these many miles just to kill you, fool. This is a different kind of gun. Up into the pellet of my own invention. Observe. The instant it strikes you, you it stops your will, making you my slave. The hawk is no man's slave. Ha, ah, but the girl's never wrong. And though you seem to, too important to waste in our pellet on, I believe in taking your chances. It is done. Both of you rise and follow me. Rise? Fortunately, in the excitement of the moment, the gargoyle has not noticed the unconscious girl lying in the shadows behind his two helpless prisoners. How easy it for the gargoyle to be victorious. Months later, Betty! Betty! Dad, it was horrible. It was the Hulk who came from out of the darkness. He was terrifying. There, there, my dear. You're safe now. 
Where'd he go? What did he want? Or, or did I imagine the whole thing? I'll find him, Betty. I swear to you, my child, I'll find him and destroy him. Yet, in spite of everything, there was something, something sad about him. Almost as though he was seeking help. I'll find him if it takes eternity. I'll find that monster. And it's in a speeding truck driven by a driver whose will has always been sapped. Gargo and his prisoners speed toward the coast, racing to reach their destination before the dawn. Faster! Faster! What a prize Hulk will be! That, what a fantastic specimen for our, for our scientists to study! If he could create an army of such powerful creatures, he could rule the Earth! Finally, the early hours before daybreak, the rendezvous is reached. Hurry, rope faster, you dolts! Nothing must stop me now! And nothing does stop the gargoyle, for minutes later, he's made it. Ah, we have reached the edge of space. Now we shall level off a glide behind the Iron Curtain. But then, the first faint rays of dawn touch the hawk as he sits in the cabin in the plane, which the Reds have copied from our own amazing X-15. <laughs> <laughs> there's, a, there's a jab at Russia there. <laughs> anyway, it has daylight. They use his brill features once again. A startling incredible change takes place. For once, the mighty hawk has been the light of the sun now reveals the Dr. Bruce Banner, American scientist. The change is now complete. Hours later, as the red ship glides to a landing on communist soil, the gargoyles receive a startling surprise. Woo, I'm glad the, the effect of that gun wore off. The hawk, what happened to the hawk? Got any idea what that joker is talking about, Doc? Not the slightest, Rick. Doc, wait, I know you. Of course, you're America's foremost atomic scientist, Dr. Bruce Banner. That means you and the hawk. Oh no, it's too unbelievable! Under close guard, the gargoyles rush his prisoners to a secret stronghold, and then... Your secret is a your secret is a secret, no longer, Banner. I know that you and the Hawk are the same. Doc, what do we do now? Easy, Rick. It's his plan, so far. But why? Why would you want to be a monster? You must be insane. It, it's the most horrible thing in the world to be a freak. A gargoyle like me. Doc, he, he's crying. If anything can be normal, anything, so would I, but I am as helpless as you. Hey, listen, I can't stop myself from turning into Hawk. But you, your case is different. I've seen cases like yours. I know how to cure your, you by radiation, but although your features will become normal, your aim will suffer. You will be, no longer be a brilliant scientist. Doc, you ain't going to help that creep, are you? Quiet, Rick. No matter what happens to me, even if I die, as long as I could die as a man. Then, at a command from the gargoyle, all is made ready. Now! This looks very similar to uh, Frankenstein. Mm. And where a gargoyle has been laying. Doc, it's working! The man rises. You did it! You did it! You know the two others in the silent lab, the lone figures walk to a portrait on the wall, and then, in a quivering tone, he speaks. It's because of you that I became what I was. Because I worked on your secret bomb test. It took an America to cure me, and now that I am no longer a gargoyle, by you, all you stand for, like a man. And not long afterwards, yes, comrade K, we have America's top atomic scientist. You can learn much from him. What? How dare you interrupt when I am speaking to Premier? Premier, I guess. But comrade, a disaster is occupied. Look, the prisoners have escaped. Where is the gargoyle? Has he has vanished? Listen, what is that? The gargoyle escape rocket! Quick, break into the office, perhaps we will find a clue! Come in, comrades, I have been expecting you. Who are you? I was once he we called the gargoyle, but now I'm a man again. No longer brilliant, no longer a scientific genius, but my work is done, and so I should die. I should die as a man! Don't trigger that switch! On the rocket ship above, the gargoyle sets controls for America, Rick, and set the atomic escape ejector just for us. So we are saved by America's arch enemy? Gosh! You did it, Doc. You made him, him normal again and turned him against the Reds. Listen, that blast, what is it? It's the end of the gargoyles. Gargoyle, and perhaps the beginning of the end of the Red Tyranny, too. The end. Mr. Banner and Rick are safe for now, but in a few hours it will be nightfall again and the Hulk will again appear. Don't miss the next great issue, surprise fill issue. Note, for our next issue, we will feature a letter. Better page mail. Knox R. Bruce Jetters. The Hawk Third Floor. Blah 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 blah. Okay, who cares? Ooh, yeah, look at the ads. Let's switch on ads. 
next time we'll look at probably some eight guys here. Ooh. Hawk current screen, but before we go to Hawk number two, we're gonna look at Fantastic Four number five. Thank you for watching.